Good morning, everyone. Scooter here at Granville Guitars in lovely St. Petersburg, Florida. Today is Monday, the 22nd of October. The year is 2018. And welcome to part two of my in-depth report on the work we're doing here at Granville on uh, Alex Webster's touring bases for the upcoming Cannibal Corpse U.S. Tour. Now, I have a clarification to make about this particular base from the last video. This base here that came in the case that was a labeled prototype signature, this is actually not the prototype signature base. Um, there were details that were not up to snuff on that particular base, and uh, that one's not been seen out in public, basically. Uh, but this one was in that case uh, in order to make it easier to be uh, delivered here to my shop. So this base, um, let's see here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, it's not technically a prototype, but it is one of the earlier ones that was made uh, in preparation for uh, the signature model. It has all the features that the signature model has for the most part. Um, let's, uh, let's release the camera from its bounds here, and we'll go up the base a little bit. Ebony fretboard, red inlays. By the time this one came out, they had perfected the red material for the inlays. Um, or by the time Alex had this one made. Earlier, they were having some issues with the inlays. Um, cracking and, and having some issues. But by this, by this point, uh, the good folks at Spectre had nailed that. As you can see, they're a wonderful, nice, bright, bloody red color. Um, also, up here at the headstock, let's get some more light on this quite dusty right now. I haven't cleaned anything, but uh, you can see there this base is going to be one of the A-sharp tuned bases. Uh, but you can see the Spectre logo is also red, which you typically will not see anywhere else except for uh, on Alex's bases, I believe. Um, right now, uh, this base has uh, Seymour Duncan pickups in it. Let's get around here to the other side of the tripod. Uh, it does have Seymour Duncan bass pickups in, and uh, Alex likes these. But we're going to put his signature model uh, Seymour Duncan's. The hammer smashed bass is the the uh, proper way to address those pickups. Those are made in the Seymour Duncan Custom Shop. Um, you can purchase a set for yourself either through the Seymour Duncan website. Uh, they retail for three forty nine. That's for a set. They have ceramic magnets. Um, uh, let's see here. It, it describes these as uh, the signature blackout bass pickups preamp was voiced in conjunction with Alex to offer players the same aggressive attack and expressive tone that he is known for. Um, so there you go. Uh, they were named after the bass break on Hammer Smashed Face, which is of course a Cannibal Corpse song that probably their most well-known song uh, anyway here they are fresh from the uh, Duncan custom shop um, you can see the uh, designations there on the on the box and they come in a really fancy box with a fancy uh, little bag that they come in from the custom shop and uh, this one still, they still have the uh, plastic on them. Let's go ahead and remove that. Like so. You can see that the logo on these is red, which will go very nicely with the graphics on virtually every one of his bases. Uh, if we flip it over, we can see uh, the Alex Webster designation there on that white label. And also, this is the hammer smashed neck. Hopefully, it will focus there on that label up top. So, you can read that. So, Seymour Duncan Custom Shop pickups, these are going in this base. Along with that, Dark Glass Electronics Tone Capsule. Uh, all four of Alex's bases are going to be wired the same as was covered in the video for the Grey Ghost. The first video I did, 
um, uh, this preamp is going away. It, uh, I'm not sure which preamp it currently has. Some of his bases still have EMG preamps. Uh, some of them have tone capsules, but they have uh, concentric knobs on them. And they have uh, the balance control right here, I guess. Now, this one actually has its balance control up there. Anyway, uh, from now on, what we're doing is volume here, high mid, low mid, bass. Uh, so that would be the configuration that's that's going to exist on all four of Alex's touring bases. This way, uh, he can move on to the next bass. Uh, he'll have two in each of the different tunings that they use live, and um, he can just move along to the next instrument when he needs to, and it'll be the same. Also, uh, this is one of the two bases I've made a speed ramp for. That's going to get installed right there. Um, this is uh, a piece of poplar that I hand sanded, um, or hand shaped and sanded rather, and then we've coated it with uh, four coats of um, polyurethane combined with black stain. So it go the black goes quite deep into the wood, and it's a nice hard exterior. I uh, should put up with an awful lot of fingernail abuse. So that's where we are uh, with this instrument today. Of course, we're going to be putting on the DR high beams for Alex, as all his bases have. Gauged 125 on the bottom to 45 on the top. Uh, this instrument here that I'm going to be working on today is going to be tuned to the A sharp tuning. That would be their tenor tuning. <laughs> Uh, that's only four steps below standard pitch. Their other tuning, which we'll call their baritone tuning, is G-sharp, which is tuned five steps below normal standard pitch. So, uh, that's the setup for this bass, and the work begins. All right, here we are with the black bass, black Bart, if you will. <laughs> Works all completed, uh, ready for Alex to run this thing out on the road uh, this November all across USA. Uh, as you can see, if we uh, zoom in here a little bit, um, let me get my tripod figured out here. Um, as you can see, we've installed Alex's signature Seymour Duncan hammer smashed base pickups. I've added a speed ramp right here between the pickups for thumb rest, uh, finger rest, just ease and comfort of playing. Gives you all kinds of area additional to what you would normally have. Uh, just wonderful idea. Um, went uh, with, of course, again, the old, uh, old school Spectre knobs on this. I think we're going to do that on all four bases. We've pretty much decided at this point to make all four of these the same. Same preamp, same configuration, same pickups, everything, same, same, same. Uh, if we flip it over real quick, you can see uh, we put the same preamp arrangement uh, in this base that we did in the first video with the Grey Ghost. And... Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. It really, uh, it works really well. Uh, it goes in there really well. Um, I, I'm impressed with the build quality of the preamp overall. Um, and it just sounds good. That's the main thing. So once again, our configuration, uh, as you can see, is here's the master volume control, the only volume control, and you can see that both pickups are hardwired to this volume control. No balance control. Thus, no problems associated with a balance control. Um, not that, you know, everyone would have problems, but that's the way we decided to go. Because we only had four holes to work with. No concentric potentiometers. So that's how we did it. High mid here. Low mid here. Base here. Output jack. Fairly simple stuff. The uh, tone cube comes, this is the actual preamp right here with all these connections. And it comes with this piece of 
3M double stick and you just stick it to the side of the cavity and it stays put. Uh, one other thing that we didn't mention before is we're putting new uh, battery boxes, 18 volt battery boxes in all four bases. Uh, initially we thought we were only going to have to add one to the gray base and then replace one other that's been misbehaving but they're all in pretty bad shape so we just decided to get rid of all of them, change them all out. Um, Alex needs to rely on his instruments uh, on the road and uh, he, he can't have <laughs> he can't have things going crazy on him uh, so it's best to just you know rather than say well that's good enough no it's not good enough it has to be able to be relied on and that's when it's good enough so uh, once again let's flip this bad boy back over uh, this once again is uh, an early version of his uh, signature base uh, when they were still kind of deciding on the configuration etc working out the kinks all that sort of thing we should have volume here yes we do okay uh, this is the tenor tuning as we were mentioning earlier which is tuned to an A sharp that is four whole steps below standard um, that means that this string is tuned to an A sharp uh, the next string up is tuned to a D sharp. Plug it properly over here. The next string is a G sharp. Next string is a C sharp. And finally, on top, we have an F sharp. And once again, the controls are pretty simple. Master volume. We got high mid here. here and bass here that thing is powerful it's kind of like wearing a grand piano friends <laughs> But most Spectre basses are like that. Uh, they just have this great big clung that they all do, and they all do very, very well. Um, really, uh, really nice, powerful, well-made uh, instruments to play. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, works completed on this, the second of, of four basses. Um, Let's see, I'm trying to remember if I needed to answer any questions from the last go-round. I think I clarified a few things on the first half of this video um, about the hammer-smashed bass pickups, again, from Seymour Duncan. Okay. Um, uh, don't forget also Spectre, Euro 5, uh, Alex Webster model is what we're shooting with here. If you're interested in one, go seek out Spectre. Uh, and then the dark glass tone capsule is the preamp uh, from the fine folks over there at dark glass. Um, it's the tone capsule. Is that what I said? Yes. Not tone cube, tone capsule. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> it's getting late in the day. Tone capsule. If I said tone cube, I'm very sorry. Tone capsule uh, from dark glass and that's what Alex is running uh, once again the strings are the DR uh, high beams gauged 125 to 45 um, all of these things are available for sale uh, that Alex uses if you want to reproduce what he uses it's very easy to do get a signature base signature pickups tone capsule that's what Alex uses. All of this stuff is available off the shelf. Well, not off the shelf, but certainly you can buy these uh, Duncan pickups. They are for sale. It wasn't always the case. There was a time when they were not. Uh, but they're out there now. So, this is all I've got for today uh, for the black base. This is entry number two in getting ready for 
the 2018 Cannibal Corpse Tour of the U.S. They're going to be out all of November with our good friends Hate Eternal. Stay tuned for some stuff on them as well. Um, that's all I know for our good friend Black Bart here. If you have any questions about anything we do here at Granville Guitars or anything about the world of Cannibal Corpse, I may be able to answer some questions for you. Technical questions anyway. Um, feel free to seek us out on the web. Uh, we're at www.granvilleguitars.com. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. And our blog, A View from the Granville Bench, is over on WordPress. That's all I have for today. See you in part three.